Hey everybody, this is Dr. Zappi coming to you with a video about noticing knee injury risk. If you have a kid who plays baseball or if you're coaching a team or something like that, this is a really easy way to see if somebody's at risk for a knee injury. Let's go ahead and play the video. Um, as it goes, I just want you to look at it and kind of see how the batter is swinging and all, and I'm, I'm going to point some things out to you while it's playing. So this youth baseball player is really, really high risk right now at, at knee injury, especially in that right knee on the back side. So his, his power leg is at risk for getting hurt. Um, there's some other issues going on here, but I really want to specifically point out to you guys the high amount of instability that's in that right knee as he swings, as he recovers from his swing, and as he resets in the stance in, in, his, uh, in the batter's box there. So this uh, kind of excessive motion right before he swings and after he swings is, are really the, the key signs of instability. And on the swing itself, you can see that the knee collapses a lot into what's called valgus stress. So valgus stress is when the knee kind of collapses and falls in towards the other knee. And what that's going to do is it's going to put a lot, a lot of stress on the MCL, which is the inside ligament of the knee, and the ACL, which is a, a really, really bad injury to get. Uh, if you had an ACL or MCL injury, I mean, that, that could be career ending for a youth baseball player. So this is really, really key um, to catch in your baseball players and to strengthen to prevent. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to actually take this into slow motion and move the frames back for you guys so you can see exactly what's going on. Let's go ahead and rewind here. And we'll let that play in slow motion. So watch that back right knee. And I'm going to pause it as exactly when he when he sits back in his stance here. And I'm going to show you exactly what's happening. So right, right here. Okay, so the ball's coming in right now. He's just about to hit it. He's, he's preloading onto his back leg for that power. This is what we tell our batters to do. We say, you know, bend your knees a little bit, um, shift, shift your weight back onto your back leg, preload that back leg, and then when you're about to swing, you want to explode through that back leg and really throw all your power into the ball. So he's losing all that, okay? This batter, what he's doing is, is since he has what's, what's called instability in the knee, because he doesn't have a really strong hip, he can't control and hold the leg stable the way that we would like it to be stable. So it's collapsing in, it's falling in. He's putting all of his weight onto that back leg and the whole knee is collapsing in because it can't hold the weight, it's not strong enough. So let's see what happens as he comes through the swing. Right there, look at his knee, it's, it's almost at like a, a, a a little bit of an obtuse angle a little bit. So that inside of the knee there, the where the on the side where the other knee is, right? So on the on the inside portion of it, you're gonna get a lot, a lot of stress on the MCL and the ACL with those kind of stresses and forces. So then he swings through, he loses all his power, everything's coming from his upper body. And as he comes back into his stance, it's gonna wobble a little bit. He's going to set back into that valgus stress position with that really bad angle that we don't like. And then, boom, all that stress goes back into that leg again. So this is exactly what we don't want um, in our players. If you notice this in any of your players, I highly recommend getting him into some type of a lower quadrant rolling pattern. Uh, just really simple. You're going to have them lay on the, on the ground face down, and they basically just roll onto their back. Um, it's kind of hard to see and, and make sure that they do it right. So it's kind of good to have a movement specialist there with you. But if you can get them doing that, that'll, that'll strengthen it a little bit. And then what you want to do is progress them into like clamshells or uh, glute bridge exercises, maybe even some bird dogs and monster walks. Once they really get good at it, we can start progressing them into more strengthening exercises like kettlebell swings, carries, triplanar lunges, squats, and then really, really progress them into the, the dynamic movements that we want them to be able to do. Um, so I'm just going to keep playing this for you guys while I chat a little bit. If you got, if you have anybody that you know that's qualified to to do training like this, um, make sure that they're they're a movement specialist. If you're going to a physical therapist or maybe a personal trainer, make sure they're familiar with uh, glute strengthening exercises and knee instability. Um, anybody in your area, we are in Chester County. So if you're in Chester County, feel free to stop by the Wellness Center of Chester County on 160 Park Road, and we'll, we'll help you out. All right, everybody have a good day. Leave comments in the comment box. Uh, like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, and visit our website, wcofcc.com. Thanks.